Hey bro, you forgot one. Alright, that looks a lot better. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome to day 62 of Harry National Holiday! And today we have National Bunsen Burner Day, National Crayon Day, National Clams Day, National Manti Appreciation Day, National Prom Day, National Tanner Day, and National Cesar Chavez Day. So without further ado, let's get into it. It says to boil inside of the bag, so here we are just boiling it and we'll eat it back at the table. Alright, we keep it for 7 minutes. Here it is. You go ahead and drain it off and give that a good little tap right there. And let's see how it looks on the inside. So there's a little tab right there, so go ahead and pull that. Hi. Hi. Okay, actually, I lied. We're going to use a pair of scissors. Let's go ahead and open these up. You guys want to take a look at them? <laughs> now, I don't know if I want that sauce all over my noodles. You know what? Yeah, I'll put. Let's put everything on top of my noodles. Why not? Was it open before? Like the clamps? No, they were closed. Oh, they open when yeah, they heat. They open when they, when they heat up and they're steamy. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, let's just pour these. Ooh, the bag's hot as hamsters. Hot as hamsters. Ooh. Okay. Let's get the butter sauce all over there. <laughs> okay, I think there's enough butter sauce. <laughs> and then let's just take these out of here. How do you how do you eat them? You eat, you eat the things on the inside. It looks sad. It looks sad. Okay, I think that's enough clams for me. All right, on to the table. All right, here we are, Cyber National Clams Day, and for today, I just followed the instructions on the bag, and I this is actually my first time ever trying clams. You can see they're pretty cute, little small baby ones, and just like the bag said, I put it underneath a bed of pasta, so. I got the pasta here. I drained out all the, the clam juice on top of it. So let's give that a try first. Let's go ahead and give that a try. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good butter sauce. I just wish I had a little bit more salt in there. Maybe next time I'll salt the spaghetti more. But other than that though, that's, that's pretty good butter sauce. Anyways, here are the clams. And here are the little baby meat inside. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it's not actually too bad. I could see myself eating clams like that. Mm-hmm, wow. I mean, for something that came inside of a bag, that's pretty good, you know? All you had to do was boil it for about like seven minutes and it's good to go, so. I guess you ever need of a quick lunch, um, pick up a bag of clams and heat, heat them up you know Ooh, whoops sorry anyways yeah guys i'll probably give this maybe a 8.3 out of 10. it's not really bad it's not the best but convenience wise and you know how fast it was to make i would give this yeah a pretty solid score man all right on to the next holiday for next holiday for today we have national manatee appreciation day and today's the day to give appreciation to all the mantis out there and the only thing I know about mantis is that they were once mammals and they went back to the sea. Think about that, you know, you're once a sea animal, you came onto the land, you took a look around, you were like, you know what, this is not it, and you just went back inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's exactly what a mantis did, um, as well as the uh, dolphins and the whales. You know, they, all of them did that. They all started off as like little little rat things, and they're just like, you know what, like this is not for me. I'm going back into the water. So, yeah, guys, on to next holiday. Didn't um, sailors back then also thought that mantis were like mermaids? Yeah, well, yeah, they thought that mantis were mermaids, and then like they thought they were like sirens and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure that they're just going crazy in the in the ocean, you know. Like, I'll be going pretty crazy too if I was stuck on a ship with 27 other guys looking for gold, you know. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next holiday. For the next holiday for today, we have National Prom Day, and I guess I could bust out the old prom book. So let me just go ahead and reach up right here. That's where we keep it. Whoops, that might make everything collapse. But anyways, here we are. This is the prom book. <laughs> Dame's like rolling her eyes. She's like, oh my god, here we go. And uh, let's see. We'll go real quick. All right. I'm not rolling my eyes. Yeah, what are you doing then? Huh? You're just like, <laughs> you're just like, yeah. 
So, you know, here we are, quick prom pics. Just me and the dame, of course, went to prom. My friend Alex, we went together. We took photos at uh, Bidwell Park in Chico. The prom was actually held in Chico, even though we're from Gridley. We rented out a venue overlooking the lake, so yeah, not too bad, man. So here we go. Boop, 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 boop. You guys go to prom? Who did you go to prom with? Was she cute? Is she single now? Let me know. Actually, wait, never mind. Don't just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are looking at that. Boom, boom. There's me. Very dashing. I mean, I'm not trying to show them every picture. We got like, look at this. Look how, look how thick this book is, boys. Yeah, that's that's just like, you know. Yeah, so. All right, guys. Well, that's the prom book. If you ever come and visit me, we can uh, look at it better. But that's just a gist of what's inside of it. All right, on to next holiday. For next holiday for today, we have National Caesar Travis Day. And I'm surprised it wasn't on there, you know? I would imagine that it would be. It's a pretty widely recognized holiday. But anyways, Caesar Travis is like one of my heroes growing up. He always fought for, for immigrant field worker rights. And not only did he stand up for immigrant field worker rights, but he also stood up for, you know, um, stopping the war in Vietnam. And he also stood up for gay rights. And he also stood up for, you know, he, he, he stood up for any oppressed group, you know? And that's what I love the most about him is that it didn't care you know, what skin color you were, what background is. It, it didn't matter to him. It matters that everyone had the same opportunity. Everyone was able to voice their opinions. And yeah, man, like, and I feel like that's what life is always about. You know, life is just about like wanting to be equal to everyone else and not treated different just because of your background, creed, origin, religion, race. It's just like, at the end of the day, we're all human. And you know, we all want the same thing, right? I want security for my family. I just want happiness. And you know, you want the same thing. and. I don't have to be poor and be oppressed for you to live a good life. Well, maybe you do, maybe, you know, maybe if we all live good, maybe the world will die pretty quickly. But I'm just saying like, well, we all deserve equal opportunity and he fought for that. He, and that's why I respect him so much. So yeah, guys, on to next holiday. For next holiday for today, we have National Tater Tot Day. So here we are with a couple of tater tots and you know, they're just frozen tater tots, nothing special about them, but I, you know, actually, I never really thought about the process of making tear tots, you know? Like, how do they make tear tots? Is it like, compress them or something? Shred up some potatoes and... I think it's like a hash brown, but smaller. I mean, whatever they do, keep doing it, because right. I love tear tots. Hmm? Are they hash browns, but smaller? I think they're just like, sh shredded up potatoes, pressed into shape, mm -hmm. and, and then like, you know, frozen. But, what do I know? I'm just some guy who eats them, so, you know, it is what it is, but anyways, Tater tots are good, uh, you know, A tier food, definitely like, you know, hunger stopper, greasy, salty, potato-y, delicious, um, can't go wrong, man. Tater tots, I'll give them a good 9 out of 10, just a good finger food. Alright, on to next holiday. I thought for the last two holidays, we, we can combine them into one. So here we got National Crayon Day and National Bunsen Burner Day. And actually, I was gonna order a Bunsen Burner online, but they were like $29. So I, I figured, you know, what's the next thing to a Bunsen Burner? It's a torch, obviously, so I went out and bought one. So here it is, is a torch. So pretty much like a Bunsen Burner, just a little less extreme. And then, of course, I went out and bought a 24 box of crayons. And, um, you know, as a kid, you always want crayons. The more, the better. So. Yeah, this is pretty nice. So why don't you come on in, we'll get started. All right, here we are with the blank canvas and we got a few crayons here. And you guys ever like watch any of those Facebook videos where like people get the crayons and you melt them onto the canvas? Well, that's what we're doing today. So I got the Bunsen burner, I got the crayons and let's see if we can just, uh, let's see if we can melt these onto the canvas here. Oh yeah, that's hot. Maybe just point it that way instead, huh? Ooh, <laughs> I think maybe this might be too hot. Oh well, we'll figure it out as we go. Just rub, rub it. Yeah. I think I like the the drips more. I think the drip pattern looks pretty nice. So let's see. That's some green. Let's get some red going. Oh yeah. Some abstract art. A thousand each. A thousand each. Your firstborn son. 
All right, so you can see it, it, it kind of looks cool right there. I wonder at the end if I can like burn it with my torch and that'll make it look like, you know, maybe more cohesive. So let's just keep on getting dots on there. And then once we get enough dots, we'll maybe combine them together, maybe somehow. Oh yeah. Just, just drip, Among Us drip. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Cool. And then next we got some pink. All right. Next we got some blue. I've got a different patterns in the in between here. Ooh, I'm gonna be running out. All right, that's pretty cool, guys. What do you think? What do you think? How do you think it looks so far? <laughs> Okay, next we have um, this violet, I believe. Alright, nice. What do you guys think? Should I just leave it like that? Or should I try to find a way to combine them together? Should I heat it up or something? Um, what do you think, Dame? You can't heat it up again. Well, maybe I, I could probably get like a blow dryer and maybe blast it with that or something. Oh, yeah, maybe. I could. Uh, actually, I think it looks pretty cool the way it is, but... I think I want to add some orange in there, so I'm definitely going to grab this orange and I'm going to grab my knife here and skin off the label here. Here we are with a little bit of orange, so let's go ahead and get this melted up. Oh yeah, that's some nice color pop right there. Oh yeah, okay, that looks pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie to you, that looks pretty good. So what do you guys think? How much would you pay for that? Don't say I won't put it on eBay for $10 million and see if it sells. All right, guys, well, I think I do it for today's holidays. So let's just wrap up this episode and uh, finish it off. All right, well, here we are again, 31 days later. And uh, man, I can't believe that, you know, this is episode 62. And um, yeah, geez, you know, look at look at this. I did that, you know, I did this whole month and it, it, it was really like, this, this was a lot more challenging than uh, January for sure. Um, the days were a lot longer. I think we we're averaging about five to six holidays a day. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Um, you know, I want to thank everyone who's been watching me this season, you know. Um, yeah, I just really, really, really appreciate it. You know, all your comments, all your support. Uh, thank you guys for your messages. It, it means a lot, it really does. And, um, you know, I'll be back in two months for another season, you know. So this is season two. We're all wrapped up and uh, you know I, kn I know like my scheduling was a little messed up this season just because like work and life and a lot of things get in the way and like I said this this was a very very hard season to do um, just because like just because I didn't prep for any of this and every day I took it just head on and you know going in the dark you know blindfolded so ooh, all the metaphors for not knowing nothing that's what this season was all about and you know, I'm just I'm just happy that I was able to, to see it to the end, and you know, there, there there was days where I thought, you know, there's no way this episode is going to come out, and I'm glad that every single episode got cranked out, and I'm just uh, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much again. Without you guys, I'm gonna have no motivation to do this, and uh, really from the bottom of my heart, I'll see you guys in May. Actually, let's take a quick look at May. So here's uh, April. So you can see April is pretty brutal. That's uh. That's why I don't do it back to back. That's why, that's, that's exactly why. Look at that month, man. Jeez Louise, right? Anyways. That doesn't look any better. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't look any better, man. Look at, look what at the that. first day. Look at the first day. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen holidays in one day. And, um, you know, when I first started this series, um, everyone was telling me, you know, my friends, my family, they're saying, Christian, don't do every single holiday. Just do like two, do three, you know, just, just do the bare minimum. And I'm just like, well, what was the fun in that, you know? I want to do every holiday. And um, I think this month is going to prove uh, why I shouldn't do every single holiday. But that hasn't stopped me before. It's not going to stop me in the future. I'll be back. I'll crank it out for you guys, because I love you. <laughs> That's right. Yes, you. I see you. I love you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. 
I really do appreciate it. All right, with that said, I think that wraps it up for season two. I want to give a special thanks to Eric, Enrique, Emma, Elisa, Obi. Thank you guys so much for commenting on almost all the videos. I really, really do appreciate that. All right, guys. Well, I think that'll do it for season two. And I'll see you guys in May. All right. Peace. Yay. We did it.